Welcome to the Daily Devo. My name is Alec, and today we are talking all about prayer. I know, prayer, wild thought. Yes, when you talk about prayer, or when you hear people talk about prayer, or a prayer life, what does that mean to you? As Christians, one of the spiritual disciplines we have is to rely on God and not of our own self. And in that, we draw closer to God and grow with him and through him. Prayer is one of the essential disciplines. Yes, not suggested, but mission critical. Prayer at any moment can look wildly different for people, but daily prayer should be a part of our lives. Prayer has many different postures. Some of these are confession, adoration, thanksgiving, and supplication. If you believe in the same Jesus as I do, the one who died on a cross and three days later rose from the dead, so you and I don't have to face the punishment we deserve. We have direct access in every moment of every day with him. Prayer has so much power, and today, that is what our verse is all about. Let's read in Ephesians 3, 14 through 16. When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything. In heaven and on earth, I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Let's break this down together. Let us not miss the intentional physical posture Paul takes of falling to his knees to pray. No, I am not saying you need to get on your knees to pray every single time, but I do believe prayer is for everywhere, but the majority should be in quiet with the Lord. As there is humility, there is reverence to God who is able to unite all nations, all cultures, ethnicities, male and female. To be named in biblical use, this is referring to the definition of one's identity. God the Father, the creator of all things, is also the one who names slash defines the identity of all creatures, even to the extent of naming every family in heaven and on earth. God's present action in naming every family is a further affirmation of his sovereignty over all creation. The last part we cannot miss of our passage today is as the writer talks about being empowered with inner strength through his spirit. We as individuals, when we believe in the Jesus that rose from the dead, we have that same powerful spirit living within us. Would we start to be believers that would lean into our inner strength from his spirit as a first option, not as a last resort? So today, would you start a prayer life if you haven't before? And if you are a believer that you haven't drawn near to him in a while, would you fight to create that discipline in your life? Come to him humbly. Come to him open-handed and open-hearted. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Devo.